how did you find out about psychedelic treatment and why did you think that was going to be a good fit for you? Oh, man, great question. So about three, four years ago, I started the No Flow Inherence Foundation to try and end veteran suicide. So, Melanie, depending on the, the number you listen to, Uncle Sam's number of 17 or Duke University and the University of Alabama's recent numbers of 44 veterans taking their own lives every day, I said I got to do something. I had no idea what I was going to do. How, how do you stop veterans from taking their own lives? Buy them suits, help them write a resume? No clue. A buddy of mine said, hey, Wiz, there's a group of Navy SEAL veterans that go down to Mexico and they do psychedelic assisted therapy to heal their EPS and their traumatic brain injuries. Would you want to go? And uh, I got to be honest with you, going down to Mexico to do drugs with Navy SEALs sounded like a gr great weekend, right? I had absolutely no clue what I was in for, Melanie. It was without a doubt the most spiritual uh, and life-changing experience uh, of my life. I healed some incredibly tough childhood trauma that I carried into the military. Uh, I lost 16 brothers flying fighters uh, for the Navy and three due to suicide. Um, and, and this healing cleansed me, it cleaned me up. Uh, I don't know if you can be a good drinker, uh, Melanie, I was a bad drinker. I couldn't even look at alcohol for eight months after this treatment now i can you know have a glass of wine with a steak type of thing but old whiz a glass of wine was the bottle so it was without a doubt the most life-changing and saving experience of my life and i got back matter of fact uh, if you've ever seen the movie lone survivor with mark Wahlberg or, or read the book lone survivor i went down uh, with famous navy seal marcus uh, luttrell and i got home and i said this this is how i'm going to help end veteran suicide